Okay, in this video, I'm going to discuss about the amb ambiguous case. This is for SPM MX uh, under the chapters of solution of triangle. It's not mistaken, it's the last second chapters of for, for students. Alright, I think this part is one of the most difficult parts in the solution of triangle chapter and a lot of students feel quite confusing when the question asks them to draw another triangle. Okay. For example, now I give you a triangle like this ABC, and then I give you uh, just randomly give you some slang language. Is this is five cm, this is eight cm, this is fifty degree. All right. Normally, when a question asks you to draw another triangle, you use the word sketch. Sketch means you do not need to use the graph paper. You just need to use your ruler and randomly draw. Okay. When they ask you to sketch a new triangle, normally he will give you few condition. For example. For example, first he, maybe he will give you some condition. He asks you, uh, okay, maybe he asks you sketch. Oops, he asks you sketch a a sketch a new triangle A B C. So new A, new B, new C. Okay, he asks you sketch a new triangle A B C. All right. Okay. Obviously, my circle is so ugly. Okay. That means he asks you draw a new triangle ABC. This is an, like new A and new B and new C. Alright. And then he will give you some condition. For example, he, uh, the question might say the AB have to be the same with AB. Okay. What is this meaning? When when the question write like this, you must understand this one means the length. Alright. That means he says the new triangle that the lines of AB might be same same length with the this lines of A B this one. Alright. And then yeah, maybe the second condition he will give you the A C have to same with A C. That means this line have to be same length also. But the same length doesn't mean it must be in the same position. Right. So whenever the question say sketch a new triangle, normally in the question normally in the question the question will say yeah they want the different shapes. Okay, different shape means what? Different shape means actually you cannot draw a you cannot draw a similar triangle. Okay, when when the question says different shape, that that means you cannot draw a similar triangle. Your triangle need to be like totally new new shape lah, something like that. Alright. Okay, if you got the condition and then normally he will give you uh, the last condition. Maximum is maximum is three condition lah. Normally it's two condition. Maybe the last condition he will say is angle A, B, and C have to be same with the, the old angle A, B, C. Alright, so these three conditions, and then he asks you draw a new triangle A, B, C. So for me, I would say that the angle is the most important one. Because what? If this is my angle 50 degree, that means uh, my, my line A, B, and B, C have to be stay in this position because if I open up these two line actually my angle will increase it. If I make line A B and B C like closer a bit my angle actually will decrease it. Alright so so from here I know the uh the pattern of the line A B and B C have to be stay because he said this angle have to be the same. Alright so I randomly draw something okay then yeah, AB have the same with same with AB and BC have to be same with BC. That means whenever you do the ambitious case, something very important is you must got the idea of how to do the isosceles triangle. Isosceles triangle. Okay, if you're not sure what is isosceles triangle in Malay, I think it's circuit digger summer kaki. In Chinese they, they will call it the Yao San Jiao Xin. Alright. So this is a very important information when you want to solve the question like this. Okay, since the line AB and BC we can't move, so what we can do is we can move the line AC because no matter how we move the line AC, the 50 degree will still remain. Okay, but then the problem now is how are you going to move the line AC? That's why I say isosceles triangle is very important because here actually he mentioned the length of AC have to be remain the same. So that's mean 
from here, this is AC, right? I have to draw another isosceles triangle over here because I have to make sure my new line AC have to be the same length with the old line AC must be the same length. Okay, so this one will be my new triangle. Do you see this one? This one will be my new triangle. So, I'm going to draw, draw up something similar. Of course, I can't draw exactly the same. But yeah, I just try my best. Yes. Okay, so this one will be my new A, B, and C triangle. Alright, so, and then after that, the question will ask you, find the area of this new triangle. Okay, so I know here is 5, here is 8, and this one is 50 degree. Therefore, I fulfill these three conditions. You can see, AB, my same length is AB. This AB is 8, my AB is 8. Yes, I fulfill the first condition. AC, my same length is AC. So you see, my AC is 5 cm, and here will be 5 cm. So I fulfill the second condition. The last condition is the angle ABC. My same is the angle ABC. So I fulfill three conditions. And then the last one, he said, must be different shape. Obviously, this shape and this shape look totally different. So I fulfill all the three triangles. And then I'm able to draw the new triangle like this. Okay? Alright. So, okay, let me give you one more example. Then I can end. Yeah, then I can end this video. Alright. For example, for example, I just randomly draw another triangle. Alright. So I just randomly draw another triangle. So let's say I got something like this over here. And then I got something like this over here. Something like this over here. Alright. So I'm going to I'm going to give them some names on like for example I record N. M and L. Alright, so let's say this one here is 100 degree. And then this one maybe here is like 4 cm. And then here will be 7 cm. Okay, you got a triangle like this. Alright, and then, okay, now the ambiguous case, uh, the question will say like this. It will say something like, okay, now has, they will give you a, another new point of L. Okay, something like L complement. Okay, L relies on ln that means the new point of l actually relies on between the line l and n all right and then he will ask you and then he will give give you another condition such that the lm will same use the lm okay so that means the new l connects to the m will same with the new lm over here means have to be stay with 4cm so, okay, same, he will ask you, sketch the new triangle, oops, sorry, he will ask you, sketch a new triangle, L, and N. So you see, my L actually is a new L, huh? okay, and then the second one, of course, he asks you to find the area of the triangle, L, and N. Alright, but then in, in this question, uh, in this video, actually, I not going to discuss about how to find the area but then if you want to know actually that you can find easily by using what's the area formula again in last video actually i mentioned the area actually equals to one over two uh a b sin c all right just use this formula you can get the area easily all right let's come back to this one so now when i say the new l lies on the line uh l n so, I, I, I say for ambitious case, the isosceles triangle is very important concept in this case. So, let me choose another. Let's, okay, let's say I choose blue. Okay, that means my new LN must, my new LM must same as the LM. So, I will draw another isosceles triangle over here. Okay, let's say. So you can see actually here is 4 cm as well. So what is my new angle L M N? This is L. Yeah, uh, L, my new L will be here. So it'll be L M N. So this is my new triangle. Okay, let me draw it out. 
this is our picture L and this is yeah I've got something like this okay this is my new L M N okay okay and then I double check whether I fulfill the condition or not so here he say L must lie on the line LN so L is lie on the line LN yes and then second con so I will be the first condition second condition is that LM must same same length as LN this is 4 cm so this one is same is 4 cm so so I fulfill all the conditions and then I'm able to draw out the new triangle right so I hope this video can give you some basic idea about how to draw the new triangle because a lot of students struggle this one for very long so I hope this video actually do help you in solving the problem maybe okay anyways thanks for watching